Hey, West Coast Johnny, how's it going? Thanks for stopping by. You're never gonna guess what I found in the back of my shop this, this morning. I was moving some stuff and I saw what I thought was like a piece of melamine. I've seen it before, but I, did, I just thought it was a piece of melamine, which is like, uh, which is like plastic, right? And when I moved it and pulled it out, I noticed it had the word scamp on it. And I said, oh my gosh, you know what this is? This is my gravel guard. I took it off my trailer like two years ago, put it aside so it wouldn't get hurt or broken. Completely forgot about it. I've already painted the top of my trailer once and it should have been painted then and it didn't get painted. I'm about to paint my trailer Roland Tippett for the second time I'm changing the color if you saw a couple videos back the color was too bright and that is the time to paint that piece so um, but what I didn't realize is it has rivets it has broken fiberglass it needs a bunch of work so before I continue anything else on this trailer we're gonna work on that let me show it to you follow me so right here is my uh, gravel guard and uh, what needs to be done I have broken off fiberglass it's just some holes with the, all the holes have spider cracks from stress from moving around um, I have some rivets right here I gotta cut, cut those rivets out or uh, you know drill them out and uh, if you look how wavy this is I know you can't see it but right here it's a lot thicker than here it's like really thick and wavy right here and that's just because the way the uh in the in bacchus minnesota at the scamp factory when the guy was spraying the chop strand matting out of his fiberglass gun into the mold that had the gel coat on it he really laid it on thick right here but you know what that's what's cool about all this handmade stuff so all the holes that are small we're going to first we're going to do is we're going to grind out the spider cracks we're going to put a backing on this and then we're going to fill the small holes with kitty hair which is a chop strand reinforced fiberglass body filler on the small holes okay we're going to do that on all of them plus when i drilled the rivets out if the drill bit even went in a little bit which it did i'm sure uh it usually makes the hole a little bit bigger um also just the moving around over the years you know 40 years i want new holes so what i'm probably going to do is fill these and put new holes like about a half inch away it's not going to be a big deal it's not going to change anything you know i'm not going to fill these and then re-drill them i'm going to fill them and drill brand new holes about maybe you know half inch away and then this one right here is going to have to get fixed with actual strand fiberglass so what I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you guys, we're going to grind all this out. We're going to put a melamine backing on it and, a, and something here in the front. And we're going to put little pieces of fiberglass that are strategically cut, probably three or four little pieces. And I'm going to show you how to do it. First thing we're going to do, though, we're going to start sanding it all down. And I'm going to take the rivets out. I'm going to sand the whole thing down with 120 grit. So I was gonna paint the top of this trailer. As a matter of fact, I already did once. You saw the video. Well, I'm glad I didn't paint it. I was gonna paint it like a few days ago, but it's been really hot here. I'm glad I didn't paint it because I gotta paint my gravel guard at the same time. So boy, am I glad I found this. All right, so I sanded all the holes down. What I did, it, it goes down about a sixteenth of an inch. I don't know if you can see that, but what you gotta do, you can't just you know put anything right over the hole because there's this gel coat. You gotta break through the gel coat. So I'm about maybe three quarters of an inch by about an inch and a half down to the bare raw fiberglass. It's a little bit concave, but that's what we want. We sanded the gel coat down so that it'll accept our new you know fiberglass and resin but the holes themselves need to have a 45 degree chamfer so see this little tool right here it's like a ball rasp okay and i'm going to drill each one out so that it has a 45 degree 
so so that our fiberglass resin has a place to go. Can you see that? It's about an almost a. We're gonna go a little more. There we go. See that? That's perfect. And now when we put our backer and then our fiberglass, it's gonna it's gonna. Sit. Okay, I have all the holes drilled out. See that angle? That's what you want. See? And I did it here. See that? See that? See how those holes are not just flat? They're concave. All right, now when I was saying that you need to put a melamine backer here, what I mean by melamine, see this stuff? This is, um, it appears to be plastic. It's not. It's not plastic. It's not plexiglass. It is just called melamine. It's a type of plastic. And I found it at a place called San Diego Plastics. Well, most cities across the country, you can find things like this. If you can't, you can find it online. But um, some of these are curved. Like when I had to fix the back of my trailer corners where they were broken off, this is the piece I used. And I actually heated it up with a heat gun and shaped it to fit the back of my trailer. And uh, I got all, sometimes you have to screw them into the fiberglass. And then when you remove the screws, you have to fill those screws. But this is what you need. So. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this little piece right here and it's going to go underneath this like that and then I'm going to put another piece across the front here so that when my fiberglass work is done and this pops off and that pops off, I don't have a whole bunch to cut away and try to like shape because it'll be really a clean edge. So again, this is called melamine and that's what I'm going to use right now. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to set up like my little mold I'm going to clamp everything in place and then I'm going to go ahead and start now if you watch the video where I did my cabinets I did the same thing all right let me show you what I did I cut the fiberglass out and now that it's ground away and I set my pat my mold up so what I have here I have a piece of melamine that goes under this and you can see it in the hole that's like behind it okay then I have another piece of melamine that is up against the edge of this so we'll have a nice clean edge and it's all clamped okay now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna put four pieces of fiberglass in this concaved hole see how that's kind of concaved so the first piece is going to be this piece then we're gonna move up to this piece up to this piece and finally up to this piece which is gonna fit perfectly over here so I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna mix up some fiberglass resin and I'm going to clean this really nice with the acetone earlier I said it promotes adhesion what I meant to say it it just helps it adhere better because the cleaner the surface the better everything you know so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now all right we're gonna start fiberglassing so here I got my stuff mixed up first thing I'm gonna do I'm going to put some on here like this, get a little saturate the area. I'm going to get my smallest piece. I'm going to put it right there. Okay, get it that saturated in there like that. Gonna get our second little piece here. I'm gonna put saturate the fiber as well. Okay, we're gonna get our next. We're going to saturate it well. I'm just dabbing it up and down. Sometimes if you go like this, you'll make the fiberglass move. I don't want it to move. If it was any bigger, I'd use a little roller. But this is such a small area, I don't even need to roll the bubbles out. Okay. 
Now this is our final piece. Hopefully it will be enough. I'm pretty sure it will be. So we're going to saturate the fibers. Now that might just be perfect. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna let all this set up. We're gonna let it kick off, which means all the solvents are being released and it's gonna start to harden. So right now I'm gonna go move it into the sun. Now, when I sand this, I could actually just put a little bit of my lightweight body filler or some of the refined body filler over this, sand it, prime paint it, paint it. You'll never even know this was broken. And the back is going to look really nice, too, because the melamine gives it a really clean break. You'll see. So I'm going to go set this in the... All right. Well, here we are. That is drying. It looks beautiful. These holes right here are all going to get the fiberglass right now. What I'm using is called kitty hair, and it is a fiberglass. There's fiberglass mixed in. It's like a body uh, filler with, with fiberglass in it. So, here's the other thing. That hole right there, that's too small to do what we did here with little pieces of fiberglass. It's, that's too small. The worst thing you can do is don't put any fiberglass in. Just fill that with regular old, like, Bondo because it's going to crack eventually. So, this is uh, really cool stuff. It has fiberglass mixed in it. It looks like hair in a drain. I'll show you in a second. And we're going to put some over here, here, all the holes. There's six areas. But what we're going to mix it up is on this. If, I don't know if you've ever seen these things. It has a hole for your thumb. Like an artist, you know when they're painting, they hold that easel. That little, I mean, not the easel, but they hold that little palette. Well, that's what you can do here. You can hold it with your thumb. You mix up your Bondo, whatever you're, you want to mix. You want to mix it on something like this. Forget cardboard and all that. You, I even had a nice piece of aluminum, but then I had to clean it every single time I used it. So now you mix it up on here. When you're done, you rip the paper off and throw it in the trash. And it's held on. It's held on here. It's held on here. And it's held on here. So it can't move around while you're working on it. It's amazing stuff. So we're going to mix up some kitty hair right here. I'm going to fill all six of these holes right now. Okay, clean the areas really well. First thing you got to do, you got to mix the kitty hair up because it kind of settles and it's got a lot of solvents in there. So get a nice big, uh, let's see, a little more. We're filling six holes. There we go. That should do it right there. Okay. 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 Now we're going to mix our cream hardener. It's the same cream hardener that you get with body fillers. You want to do a ribbon straight across. Okay. The idea is to try to get it go in the hole in all different directions because then you know it's really in there well. Now I'm going to take some of this off so I don't have to sand it off later. Okay, okay that's fine. I'm going to move over to this one. Okay, push it in all directions. Take a lot of the excess off. Okay, that's actually that's actually okay. It'll sand off easy. Here's one right here. We're gonna hit this guy real quick. Okay, now we're gonna jump over to this guy right here. Remove some of the excess. Okay. 
Okay, just like that. And then the last holes are right here. Okay, just like that. Take a little excess off. All that will sand off fine. There it is. They're all, they're all, oh wait, let me fix this one real quick. I see a little spot right there. Okay, that's about it. Starting to kick up already. See that? Look, it's already kicking off. Look, you can't even work with this. See? 